Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. Um, Pretty Aura here to read your messages and this is going to be for um, the emergency room read, okay? What in your energy needs to be addressed immediately? Um, oh, I wanted to tell you guys that um, the Spellbreaker is back, okay? It was sold out for a minute and I thank you guys for that um but I have restocked I've also um gotten some soaps this is the Saint Michael soap with the angel inside um this is the Ruda soap Ruda um is about luck and protection and you see the urban inside of there um these soaps smell really nice I have dry baths I also have this seven by seven soap which removes obstacles you you know Saint Michael is an all around angel right he just helps with everything um especially clarity protection um <clears throat> and so these things are gonna be on the website um there are they are actually I put them on last night so um. I'll link the uh, shop in the comments, okay? Um, so, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? What is it that needs to be addressed in your immediate in your energy immediately? A lot of the times we have spiritual issues that manifest themselves as mental and physical issues. So I'm here to um, help you address that, okay? Throughout the video, I'll be making suggestions for you guys um, on how to, you know um attack these issues head on right so first of all the thing that i'm picking up um number one you guys um somebody needs to cut out dairy um especially as it pertains to bowls of cereal right this is why you have gas okay this is why um you have gas okay um somebody needs to incorporate sea moss into their diet as well as what i'm hearing and there's something else that I wanted to say. Okay, so let's just get into it. Um, yeah, somebody might be like crimping their hair or trying something new with their hair. Um, starting dreads or someone may have dreads or something like that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> in the mental position, okay? I, I really, um, some as it pertains to love, you guys are like, you know, refusing to see okay we have refusing to see here and it's like there's something that you're not willing to accept this could be um with the choose your battles at the bottom of the deck this could be in reference to um who are you cho who you're choosing to love or who you you're choosing to give your time and attention to okay you could be finding out something about a lover um that you are just not willing to take into account maybe because you love them unconditionally okay so mentally it's like and then you know for you guys who are dealing with that situation it's like spirit is asking me to um ask you okay how is it that you're dealing with someone that you love but you still feel alone okay there's some of you guys who are single and uh, you know And, and and would really benefit from taking into account um taking into account why it is um you know assessing yourself right um and also thinking about love and 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 wondering like is it that you can't be alone okay so i guess mentally you guys are really like trying to explore the ideas surrounding love and relationships and stuff like that but all the while still feeling lonely okay um <clears throat> Right, okay. But some of you ladies, you guys are experiencing facial hair, and that has to do with your hormones, okay? So we have by the book, okay? Um I really feel like with this energy of by the book, that goes back to that unconditional love that I was saying. It's like, you know, I this living by the book of unconditional love like you could even be married to this person or um have a strong spiritual connection with this person and it's like no i i i promised this person that i would like this is like loyalty kind of you know that that i'm picking up but this is like you know with the round and round 
at the bottom of the deck. This is a cycle, you guys, and it's a vicious cycle that you're going through, okay? This could also be as it uh, pertains to your mind, right? The thoughts that you're thinking in reference to love, past loves, current loves. Why, why can't I find love, right? You're being called to step out of that also with the buy the book and do something different. What is it about me, right? What patterns... Um, in my life and love and relationships, am I repeating? Okay, so um, that's where that by the book energy is coming from. Let's take a look here about anything else. You're being called to observe, yeah, okay. You have always, I feel like you've always chosen a specific way, all right? It's time to go about it in a different way. Um, for some of you guys, you could be experiencing third-party drama with this individual, and you're refusing to see that, right, in love, okay? Or this person is refusing to work together with you. This is like a round-around cycle, and spirit feels like you, you know, you. Oh, please open your third eye. I really um, encourage you guys to... Um, Wear some rose quartz because I feel like self-love is very important here. Um, self-love has a lot to do with um, refusing to see, right? And even tiger's eye will go ahead and give you the strength to make the decisions that you need to make. Because there's a decision that needs to be made here about this situation. Um, Albert Einstein says something. This this reminds me of like something Albert Einstein said where it's like repeating the same thing over and over but trying to get different results is um the definition of insanity, right? If you keep doing something and you keep getting this result that you do not want, but you're looking for a different result, right? It, it, it's, it's insanity because it's like, okay, so now you have to change up your pattern. You have to change up the way you're going about things. And this is really, um, you know, as if for a lot of you guys, as it pertains to love and relationships, surrender your need to always be right. Okay. If you thought that this person was the one, it's okay that they're not. It's okay. It's okay. Surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death. Repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. So this is what I was talking about. You know, I really feel like the, the apprehension or the resistance to make a decision in reference to this situation, right, is because... um. You would have to change the way you're going about things. And, and it would mean that this person would have to go or this place or thing would have to go. Or the way you, um, you know, you choose the people that you're dealing with um, has to go. And, and it's like you're not really ready for that, okay? But you're being asked to surrender your fear of change. Black Obsidian um, helps with cutting cords, you guys. I, I, I'm... I preach crystals all the time, okay? They have definitely helped me. Um, you want to um, always be wearing your rose quartz for my feminines. You want to be have you want to wear those in your bra and always have them close to your heart, okay? Rose quartz will really give you that calming energy. In the spiritual position, you know, you guys, I, I really feel like you guys are fighting spiritually, okay? It could be against the control of this person. It could be just in reference to your goals, okay? I really do feel a drive to go after your dreams and goals and aspirations, but it's also coming with a feeling of anxiety, right? For some of you guys, you're 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 um you cannot stop thinking about this person sexually. Or this person is trying to force you to do things sexually or something like that. You could have seen this person in your dreams, okay? And they could have came at you sexually or tried to, you know, um, force themselves on you sexually, okay? Is another thing that I'm picking up. For some of you guys, uh, you, you're being advised to sleep with a knife under your pillow. It has something to do with, uh, you know, astral vampires and, and things like that. Okay, but I do have a feeling with you guys feeling like it's a fight to go after your dreams and your goals, right? It's like one step forward, 10 steps back type situation, but I really feel that you guys are in the fight. 
Look at that, okay? It's like somebody, it's like, you know, <sighs> for somebody, the person that you're dealing with is saying like they're at work or something and they're not. Um, or they're doing something that they're not, okay? That just came through. Um, and with the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, definitely third party energy, okay? And this could be the thing that you're refusing to see, okay? But also I feel as though... <clears throat> Like I said, it's a spiritual fight for you to go after your dreams and your goals. It's like somebody's like stealing them from you, okay? And that and that has a lot to, it, it, it's energetically, okay? Energetically. This could be, you know, why you're tired, you're, you're spiritually fighting to try to, um, for those of you who feel the 10 steps, the, the, the one step forward, 10 steps back energy, it's because, you know, there are, there's someone trying to intercept, okay, into your dreams, your goals, aspirations. And I think you feel that here. With the win or lose, okay? And it's all about energy. And it could be in reference to this person that you're scared to let go of, okay? And that's why you're still experiencing this. Um, surrender to low self-esteem, okay? And that low self-esteem could be because this person is, um, you know, pulling on your solar plexus chakra because that's where your personal power comes from. Um, you know, I, like I said, I've been picking up a lot of vampiristic energy. You know what? Don't even claim it, you guys, okay? We're um, carnelian tiger's eye. This is going to help you with your self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. I feel like this someone wants you to feel like this, okay? Because this is in a spiritual position. And I'm sensing opposition spiritually, Okay. You guys could um, take sea salt baths, put sea salt in the corner of, in the corners of your home, wear black protective crystals, um, get a dream catcher, because I feel like this is happening in the astral, okay, realm, especially when you're sleeping. You could light a black candle near your bed as well, and when you wake up, just snuff it out, Okay. Black candles absorb negativity. You can recite Psalms 91 before you go to sleep for those of you who are experiencing this energy loss. For somebody, this individual is like, this person who's doing this is like Muslim or, or, or this is not for everybody, okay? There's, it could be, um... It's like this person is in some type of organized religion, the person that's doing this, okay? There's a group of people that I'm seeing, right? I, I don't know what they're called, and I don't want to be um, <laughs> out of line, right? But um, they wear red hats, and it has tassels. That's specific. It has a tassel on it. That's specific for someone, okay? This person is... Pre is presenting themselves as some type of spiritual or religious type person. And yeah, they are. But they're definitely um, dealing with lower level entities, okay? Do not claim that, you guys. I'm going to say it again, okay? You could get my spell break a bath or you could take a bath and just Cecil, okay? Constantly. Okay? Do not claim this into your life and call back your power, okay? Your energy is yours and it's God-given and... I do not, I do not, my energy is mine, it's God-given. I do not allow anybody to invade or steal my energy, okay? Repeat that affirmation. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet, meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too, and your life will flow more easily. Let me say this, whether you're sleeping or you're, or you're, um, or you're dealing with people outside, like in the workplace or, you know, having like social anxiety a little bit, I'm picking up, um, cross your arms and your legs, okay, to let your energy circulate within you. Right. And, um, <clears throat> definitely make sure you're wearing those, um, crystals related to the solar plexus, okay, because I feel like this person is like. <laughs> okay, a vampire. 
all right so that's why when we have the the physical energy okay i'm really feeling like you guys are um experiencing gas i really feel like in in reference to especially for my feminism in reference to this male energy right i really feel like this hard hat energy on top on, on top of your head it's like hard head it's like you don't this person keeps busting you in your head busting you in your head uh <laughs> you know and it's like how many times do you need to be um you know uh hitting your head for you to realize that this person is not for you, right? Um, there's the energy of, of, of constantly being hurt by the same individual, okay? But still embracing them. But still, you're embracing them. I really feel like this, you know, this individual is, is, is trying to use control because they want what you have, whether it's energetically or monetarily, either way. Okay. Um, and, and, and physically it's like, you're still embracing this individual. Okay. And that's because they're using some method of control. I want to say that the person that's stealing your energy is the same individual that you're choosing, uh, to love and refusing to see because of your, uh, fear of change here. Okay. Solar plexus chakra music while you're sleeping. Solar plexus healing. Look at that, okay? Somebody, I feel, really feel like, feel like I said earlier, a fear of being single for some reason, okay? I feel like this person, like with the bing, with the, with the, with the hitting you over the head energy that I have, that I feel, if this person could have really hit you, okay? This person could be abusive to you. I feel like when, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, when he gets hit and all the rings come out of him, right? I feel like this person does that to you, okay? Energetically and even with money. So when I say, use the term beating you in your head, it's, it's either, you know, a physical abuse or it's mental abuse, okay? And it's all about what this person could get. This is a narcissistic energy, all right? I really feel the need to tell you guys to keep your thoughts positive. You could get some selenite for that. Um, you know what? An organite, an organite necklace. Organite necklace or an organite pyramid, you guys, um, would definitely help you to uh, push away that um, negative energy. Okay? Could uh, keep that on you while you're sleeping. The person that you're dealing with may be um, a drunk yeah, I, I really feel an a, a, a energy of control, okay? I really do. Somebody's like eating, somebody's eating cucum, cucumbers. It's like, I really feel like, it's like you guys are so ready. It's like, I, you're, you're ready to get back in the swing of things and, you know, go start to run, start to diet and, and do all these things. But then all of a sudden you get cut short. Okay. And it's like, this person does not want to see you, um, get your life together. Okay. So as I said before, you guys do not claim this and cleanse, cleanse your energy. All right. And that means getting rid of this individual or anybody, any person, place, or thing that does not serve you. Okay. Look at that. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. And this is what I said about this person being a vampire. Okay. You know this. Surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen and then let go of the results. I really feel like somebody with this by the book energy has entered into a relationship where it's like, I, 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 you know, I put my all in this. I'm not ready to see it go because I'm, I'm waiting for that result. It could be marriage. It could be whatever, whatever it is you're looking for, you know, to have a happy family with this individual. Okay. This could even be a family member, but it's like, it's not working. Because even your body is telling you, you know, certain things that you're refusing to see. It's like you feel drained around this individual, okay? And for some of you guys, this person could force to have forced themselves on you or, or even if they, you know, for those of you that they didn't. It's like when you have sex with this person or when you deal with this person, you feel drained. They knock, they knock the energy right out of you, okay? You definitely do um, feel drained when it comes to this individual, Look at that. All that glitters is not gold and a change in the wind, okay? Like I said, you guys, this person was wearing a mask. Okay, you could have thought that this person was all that, but they're not, okay? They're not, and there's been a change. There's been a change. It could have, the person could have changed 
you know, either way, it's like now it's time to accept this change for what it is. This person is not for you and it's time to let, let them go because it's affecting your health. All right. Um, <clears throat> You guys will really benefit from, from meditation, okay? This is going to help you come out of this energy. And I really feel like you have had dreams about this individual and saw things, <laughs> okay? You saw things. For somebody, uh, you know, I want to say that if you're having sexual dreams, okay, and this person could be presenting themselves, you know, as different people in your dreams to, to have sex with you okay to steal your energy for those of you that understand and know about uh astral vampires this is what i'm talking about okay um vervain is good for vampires you can dress a candle with vervain okay i really encourage you guys to not accept this call back your power claim your energy and cut this person off okay i really hope that helped y'all